five groups. And in our tape diagram, we're going to be looking at two of the parts when it's broken into five parts. So you can see that two fifths is going to be 14. What about three fifths? Once again, another group of five and I'm sorry, another of our five groups and there's seven in each group and there's seven in each group, right? So would it help if I wrote little sevens down here? So that would be 21, 21 dots, 21 of uh, parts, which five parts with seven in each makes a total of 21. So each time we find a fraction of a set or a whole number, we think about how much is in each group, right? We're thinking about how much is in each group. How can we find the number efficiently if we have a lot of groups? Like here, we have three groups and there's seven in each group, right? So that's seven times three, right? Now, what if we had 125 groups of seven? We could still do seven times 125. And that would be more efficient than drawing out 125 groups of seven, right? That's a lot of drawing. So today we're going to learn how to interpret a fraction of a set and multiply fractions and whole numbers. Excellent. Four. I guess I could just write it down too, but we're looking at one sixth of four and let's practice finding one sixth of four on the number line. If we want to find one sixth of four by using a number line, what should we draw first? I reckon we should draw a number line. Yes, there we go. A number line and it's broken into four parts because if you heard me correctly or you saw on the screen, we are making one sixth, right, of four. So we're going to draw a number line that's going to go from zero all the way to four. Okay, that's awesome. And now we're going to break each whole number interval to show the fractional units. What fractional units are we going to use here? Six, because we're trying to get one sixth of four. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six parts there inside of each whole number. I'm going to make our whole numbers just a little bit bigger. So it's just a little bit easier to see them. Okay. And then we want to highlight the fractional unit of each whole number. Remember what we've been working on in lesson two, one sixth, right? We're just kind of coloring in are one sixth of each whole number. So this is one sixth of one. I'm just highlighting that to make sure you see that this is one piece and one sixth of it, right? So between zero and one is one, between one and two is two, between two and three is three, and between three and four is four. And here is my sixths, right? Okay, and now we're gonna think about how many sixths that is, one sixth. One sixth, one sixth. Oh, here you go. We'll actually draw the lines. There we go. And one sixth. So we have a total of four sixths, right? That makes sense. If we have four um, pizzas and I'm giving you uh, one sixth of each pizza, you're going to have one sixth, one sixth, one sixth, one sixth, which would be four sixths of the pizza. All right, excellent. Um, right here. So one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth is four sixths, but we can also multiply four times one sixth and it will also be four sixths, right? So there's two ways to do it, repeated addition or multiplication, one sixth times four, because we want four of those, right? And that would be four sixths, okay? Remember, this is a whole number. So if we wrote it as a fraction, it would have a one on the bottom. So we are still multiplying straight across like we have been. Okay, now let's look at the tape diagram. There we go. Now we're going to try and make five sixths of four. Okay, five sixths of four. And 
I know none of this is really in a place where you can write down your notes, but I will tell you when I want you to start writing notes. And you could write them like on the back of your sprint pages, page 21, or on the back of page, or on around page 21, somewhere around there. Um, but right now, we're just going to be listening, and I'll tell you where to put notes in a minute. Five sixths of four. So I have a total of four. Now I'm looking at a tape diagram instead of a number line. Let's see how they are the same and how they are different. So I have a total of four, right? So I'm going to show that in my tape diagram. This represents four pizzas, right? And I'm going to give you five sixths. So that means I need to make six units. One, two, three, four, five, six, six units. And now one unit is going to be four sixths, right? Because four divided by six is one of them but I need five of them, one, two, three, four, five, and each one of them is four sixths. So can I do five times four sixths? Well, sure I can. Five times four sixths is 20 sixths. Can I leave it as a improper fraction? Well, no, I really shouldn't do that. I should divide 20 divided by six, six times three is 18, and that leaves two left over. So that would be three and two sixths. Okay, three and two sixths. Does that make sense? That this amount is three and two sixths? Well, yeah, that makes sense because it's less than four but it's almost four, right? Could we have also, instead of five times four sixths, could we have also done four sixths plus four sixths plus four sixths? A lot of writing. Plus four sixths plus four sixths. Yeah, sure, we could have done that, and then we would have to add four, eight, twelve, 16, 20, right? Still going to be 20 sixths. Okay, very good. We're going to stop here and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for your kind attention. Aloha.